Small lapses in security. I mean, isn't that always the case? It's so easy to forget to change a password. It's so easy to click a link. Huge consequences, though. Thank you, House Oversight Committee, Committee for pointing that out to us. Today's not so critical update. Shocking report from the House Oversight Committee looking into uh, the JBS uh, and Colonial Pipeline hacks that rocked the country. Uh, but it's okay. They were just caused by small oversights. I mean, isn't that always the case, Peter? Just small oversights. I Yeah, this is a, such a non-story. I mean, not non-story, but like a non-result from the from the House Oversight. Um, I, I, I So they said that Basically, um, small human errors can result in massive security breaches. Yep. You know, film at Shocking. eleven to anybody uh, on NIT, is, really? Yeah, right, right. And they didn't define exactly what those were. I, I like, I quite like to know how much this whole investigation cost, yeah. because I think it was quite a lot. Of, probably going to be quite a lot of money, and the result was just nothing. Like, the, I don't forget what exactly the, the exact phrase was, but it was like. Um, uh, s small errors like default passwords uh, are still an issue in, uh, in a, a seemingly robust system. <laughs> right. I, I, which was, <laughs> yeah, right, right. So it's like, no, an, a seemingly robust system won't be compromised by someone um, by someone leaving their password uh, insecure. Like, it, you, yeah. you can have multi-factor authentication, you can have systems set up where a single compromise account won't fuck the whole thing um <laughs> you can have i don't know permissions and roles and basic infrastructure stuff which um you know these are solved problems so like what did they spend their time doing and how did they come up with this this result of like oh yeah but uh, default passwords are bad <laughs> yeah well i mean so in terms of how they came to this conclusion i guess there are two possibilities one is uh i guess the more um generous of the two is that they just don't understand technology <laughs> right it is it's easy to think like oh a password leak leaked that was like one simple small mistake except it was the password to our entire system uh, yeah. so oops like yeah okay that well and from that perspective every security breach is just you know one small mistake we just left an right. account insecured we just posted an entire list of passwords like it's always some small thing the the other uh interpretation is, uh, at least in terms of Colonial Pipeline, they gave more uh, lobbying money to Congress than oh, yeah. any time yeah. since 2005 when they were dealing with Hurricane Katrina, Katrina uh, looking for some kind of uh, support from the, from the government. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm not saying they're related, just, uh, you know. No, you are saying, you're definitely <laughs> saying that. And I completely agree with you. Yeah, absolutely, 100%. <laughs> yeah. It's all related. It's a one-to-one -one relationship. The amount of money that gets sent in it. Oh, all of a sudden, uh, maybe it wasn't totally our fault. You want that money. <laughs> and it doesn't even take that much. I think it was like $235,000. Um, but like it's, it's their it's their second highest year ever and their highest year since 2005 in terms of lobbying money given away according to Open Secrets. Well, that that's the reason that they paid the money for lobbying because it's cheaper yep. than paying insurance or for paying for actual security infrastructure. That yep. phrase though keeps going around my head: seemingly robust systems. It's not seemingly robust because it's right. not <laughs> a single compromised password took yeah. down the whole thing. And oh, it wasn't even oh, a targeted oh, attack. Oh. I talked on Wednesday, uh, this past Wednesday, to a guy who's a cybersecurity expert at the Naval Academy. And he talked about, he brought this case up because you and I have talking, spoken several times about critical infrastructure and the need to protect critical infrastructure. We had the Port of Houston attack. We had this. Um, and this had a huge impact on oil prices, oil distribution. But... It wasn't an attack on infrastructure. It was just a ransomware attack. They didn't like they just yeah. got lucky or didn't matter that it was critical infrastructure. But it does expose the weakness of our critical infrastructure in the U.S. 
it, I mean, well, probably around yeah. the world, honestly. But. Kind of, because I, I, I've said this before, but one of my favorite things about this whole uh, attack is that it didn't shut down the actual critical infrastructure. It shut down the ability to, to charge for it. You know, I, so it I, was think, the I think you misunderstand thing. what's critical about uh, <laughs> the, the free market system here. <laughs> yeah, sorry. sorry. What's yeah. more critical than they, that? <laughs> They deliberately uh, uh, t- like stopped giving out gas. It's, it's called petrol, and you know in some parts of the world. I don't understand the whole gas thing, by the way. It's not a ca- anyway. Um, <laughs> I don't. I, um, they they deliberately decided to stop giving people gas because uh, because they can they can charge for it. But like, it's not really Mad Max, is it? I mean, that would be the most boring version of Mad Max ever. <laughs> That, just yeah. giant <laughs> reserves of, of of gasoline sitting around, but uh, you don't have money to pay, so we're just going to sit on it. <laughs> Our credit card si- uh, system's offline, I'm sorry. It's right. like, like roaming gangs of people with mohawks and chainsaws. <laughs> Do you take Discover cards? Tent- <laughs> yeah, it's like an elite view of people who've got the Discover card still. <laughs> like they're able to get access to, to fill up the tanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. Um, <laughs> that is, so that's so a Mad Max parody right there. I think. From an <laughs> IT standpoint, um, like it's not simple, right? That's why security is hard because you can't yeah. let a password leak. So you need multiple layers of protection. You need a uh, complicated password policy. You need uh, auditing. You need uh, for no single account to be able to take down the entire network. You need two-factor authentication. Password audits, sure. patch management, uh, co- content filtering, because in this case, part of the attack was they guessed the password, but they also got somebody uh, or maybe installed themselves an, a, a browser update from an untrusted source. There are ways to deal with all of these things, and they weren't doing any of them. So, yeah, one yeah. simple breach, but all the things they needed to do to stop that are not at all simple. And I think that's where it kind of frustrates me that the uh, the House Oversight Committee in this case investigated and found like, ah, well, one small thing. What could you do? You could yeah, do a shitload yeah, yeah. of stuff. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. it, also, the thing is that these aren't like, these are, it's not like a novel, like you said, it's a drive-by ra- random attack that just was some, uh, you know, shitty uh, human error click. And these are solved problems, almost. If they'd followed every usual uh standard operating practice then then it wouldn't have happened i mean it's fine that human errors happen and and people get their accounts taken over all the time and and honestly i've i've been fooled almost a few times um you know it all it takes is the right kind of combination of factors um there was one time i got like a delivery uh, notification from dhl and when i was actually ex- like had been looking forward to getting this notification it was something some t-shirt being delivered to me um and i almost i got the the dhl thingy notification by email i was like okay oh no hang on that doesn't look quite right and and stop myself but all it takes is the right kind of um confluence of of uh, data points and but the point is yes yeah um but the point is that that the whole system shouldn't have been taken down just because of that one thing like i wouldn't expect if i had my dhl account uh, hacked that suddenly, you know, my credit card is open and, and uh, my uh, all my emails have now been downloaded and my all systems have been ransomware or whatever. Right. And, yeah, and uh, I'm not a fu- <laughs> piece of critical infrastructure. <laughs> right. So that, that in the, came out a bit wrong. But yeah. <laughs> in, the, in the report, they cited like simple passwords as a case that was not the case with Colonial specifically. Yeah. Their CEO had said in a newspaper interview earlier, specifically that this was not a colonial one, two, uh, colonial one two three type password. However, yeah, it, was, it was colonial one two three exclamation mark. Exclam- yeah, right. It was colonial one two three before they had to change it last time because of their password <laughs> policy. Now it's colonial one two three four. They're not stupid. Come on, Peter. Yeah, um, come on, guys. But, <laughs> but part <laughs> part of what they said in the in the TV interview is. Look, we t- you know we take this seriously. We've spent two hundred million dollars on IT over the past five years, which, yeah, that sounds like a lot of money. 
But the just to put it in context, the average firm in the U.S. probably spends between five and eight percent of revenue on IT. If you're in uh, fintech, if you're a SaaS company, it could be way more than that. It could be 20, 25 percent. But like eight percent is between five and eight percent is probably the average. These guys, Colonial, are a one point three billion dollar company, which means they're spending about three percent of their total revenue on IT. It's not nothing. It's a lot of money. I totally get it. But for a company that size, that's th- 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 that size, that's part of the cr- critical infrastructure of the country, mm. they should be spending a little bit more, t- so that they can yeah. do all those other things that they need to be able to do. It need to be able to do. It. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how to get my head around those kind of numbers. Really, I mean, I do understand it, but it's it. <sighs> I wonder how much of the money they lost from from this whole uh, palaver. Like, I, I, how much money in uh, you know brand? Actually, do, does it matter if they're a like gas supplier? Does does it? Do they care about their brand? Can people just switch to another one? Do you get? Does their loyalty card not work anymore? Does the government say uh, knock at their five percent discount? But it's not a uh, like you're not getting Colonial Pipeline brand gas. You're getting uh, it's like if the trunk trucking. I, I, is there competition? Yeah, there's probably some competition in that marketplace, but um, I don't think it matters. No. Right. Yeah. So they didn't lose money from like brand devaluation or anything like that. I mean, I, I don't see how they could have. They would have lost money from the interruption itself, but it's not like it would cause people to go shop around for other uh, gas pipelines. I, I'm not even convinced they did lose money from the interruption. If they just halted sales and kept all the gas, then they're going to sell it afterwards anyway, right? It's not going anywhere. Uh, yeah, I, that makes sense. So may, and with uh, panic so maybe, buying, maybe they actually did better. I don't know. Because <laughs> they drove so, up so demand. maybe this is... One of those situations where they kind of looked at it and went, eh, who cares? <laughs> Doesn't really matter. We don't need to invest in Mori because we know, literally didn't lose anything this time. Total speculation, but I wouldn't be surprised if they actually got money from the government to help with the recovery. <laughs> yes! Because Some sort of subsidy to, to yeah. oh, we've really got to invest in our uh, cyber infrastructure, cyber that security. would not su- surprise me even the tiniest. <laughs> maybe, maybe they even... Taking this a step further, maybe they, they engineered the hack themselves and, you know, little, <laughs> nice little, little pay off to someone. They're kind of like uh, end of quarter budgets and, and uh, oh, God, we need, we got to, we got to make up like the, we need to get some of that government cash that they're handing out. Like, <laughs> how do we do that before the end of the Even year? I'm not ready to take the speculation that far, but almost. Uh, <laughs> one or two more stories like this and, and yeah, then, oh, then we'll, I know. we'll see. <laughs> I hear you. All right. Um, yeah. Any other thoughts on this one? No. Good to go. All right. There we go. That's today's Not So Critical Update. <laughs>